Hey, welcome to another tutorial from Chucky Baby Tutorials, if that's what you want to call them. They're basically just entry-level things that you should know. All right, moving on here. Okay, today I'm going to go over loop points and punch in recording, all right? This is basically something that we should all know, but you know what? If you're a new knob and you don't know, you know, hey, that's cool. Everyone starts everywhere, you know, you got to start somewhere. Um, but anyways, to set up a loop point, really, really easy, okay? I set up markers here, so setting up my loop points is rather easy. This shaded area up in here, what you're going to do is you're going to click. See, I'm clicking on the 14 and left click and dragging, okay? And now I'm going to let go at 19, and I'm going to right click in the shaded area here, okay? And I'm going to select set loop points. Now what I just did was I set up a simple loop here, okay? Now you're going to start the transport, and when the transport is in this area and it rolls, this is just going to basically keep going over and over and you know, repeating itself back and forth over and over, okay? Now these the loop module here and the, the punch in module here, I like to keep these right up top you know in center and front so I can work with these and I can easily shut it off like this um, the punch in module is basically the same exact thing you know where you're gonna be do punching in on the timeline same thing left click drag okay right click instead of set loop points set punch points yes that easy right there okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna arm your track and then you're gonna set up you know like a queue where you come in you know a four count before uh, when you hit record now coming in after you put your input echo on and everything what you're going to get is a four count and then it's going to roll through these you know these four and then it's going to actually go when you punch in there and it's going to keep going okay and then it's just going to seamlessly punch this in i will say that sonar x one's punch in feature is awesome i mean it's it's seamless you know back in the days in the old reel to reel i you know i used to have to cut these things up and splice them because uh you know the the audible pops are just ridiculous you know i mean we're talking about, we're talking about you know a while ago you know um but anyways, uh, you know, to move on from this, what I also like to do is I like to, you know, use this um, with the loop feature where I have my punch in already, and now I'm going to set up a loop, okay? So now what I have is I have a loop where I can actually go through this setup, and when I get into here, it'll record this part, and it'll loop back over again and record it again and again. So when I have my layers on, I'll have three or four layers here to pick from when I'm doing my comping at the end, and I can go through. Um, I don't like to do a lot of comping. I like to have three, you know, max right there because uh, you start sifting through layers and layers of material and you're just going to sit here editing forever. You know, as you can see, my punch and, you know, my splits here, I like to have everything basically perfect on the first track. You know, I mean, if I can't, hey, that's great. I do have, you know, some layers in there that I picked from, but, you know, I like to basically do some punching and stuff like that. It saves a lot of time when it comes to editing. Uh, these can be simply turned off just like that. Um... And the you know the feature as far as you know having your markers in here, if you can see how that arrow changes, okay, all you got to do is left click, and then that area shades. Right click, set your loop points. So the markers is definitely a benefit you know to have, you know where that arrow changes like that, and you can just set your loop points in any one of these. You know I mean it's the greatest feature in the world. I'm not going to preach to you on how important markers are, but I will say that they are important, and that's going to be something I'm going to basically go over in the next tutorial. All right, have a good one later.